And in the maritime sector, the Nigerian Shippers Council has unveiled an operational manual, a working document for the nation's inland dry ports to promote efficient maritime operations in the interlands. The council says that the manual addresses dry port operations procedures as well as it relates to export and import activities. TVC News maritime correspondent Ifan Ayazi has the details in this report. This is the unveiling of the operational manual for inland dry port operations in Nigeria. Operators and regulators of the ports are confident that the manual will kickstart a process that will drive efficient transportation, enhance port efficiency, and stimulate import and export trade in the country. They explain that the document articulates the step-by-step -step procedures for receiving, storing, handling and delivery of cargoes at the inland dry ports. The Nigerian Shippers Council would work to ensure that the upcoming dry ports, particularly Dala, Fotoa, and just avoid the pitfalls that our seaports are currently experiencing by ensuring that they are, one, fully compliant with the operational manual, Two, fully ISPS compliant. Three, that they operate 247. Apart from its critical importance in facilitating international trade as well as transit cargo to landlocked countries, the inland rifle projects are intended to bring shipping activities closer to shippers in the hinterland and increase cargo throughput. The expectation is that the inland dry ports will also boost agricultural export in line with international best practices. One of the very beautiful innovations that has gone into the concept of this dry port is perhaps the working relationship that we have with the Export Promotions Council, where most of our dry ports are also actually going to function as domestic you know, export warehouses. Uh, you, you can then imagine you know, that collaboration and that synergy uh, ultimately provides facilities you know, that enables us to be able to preserve, to package, and you know, to put our exports in you know, the shape and form that they ought to be before they are then exported. And this is the kind of uh, economic benefit that I think is quite monumental in terms of its multiplier effect. The operational manual for inland dry pools is being unveiled in three zones across the country, in Kano, Lagos and Port Harcourt. Ifonanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.